It is the middle of the week, everyone. Vicky is making jokes behind the camera. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great week. We are. I'm really excited about today's video, honestly. This is one I've been wanting to do for a while, and I finally put everything together. And you bought a new toy. And I got a new toy. Woo, I'm digging it. Uh, by the way, I buy a, quite a bit of stuff at Harbor Freight, but these things, not a good idea. I went through two of them, and I hardly ever used them, and uh, it was just junk. The last one, like the day before yesterday, I just chucked it. So, literally. Anyway, but now I got a good DeWalt one. And this is the small one, the small unit. But anyway, so here's what I want to do. I want to do some edging. So, you guys have seen... Dang, I was going to get that. Hang on just a second. The edging that I've done in the past is uh, I've used just kind of a, a, a wheel that's really made more for cut off and it's made for grinding and that kind of stuff. But I, I saw these, actually these are from Harbor Freight. I saw these the other day and I thought, and there was like a pack of them for just pretty cheap. And I thought, man, I wonder what that would do on an edge. So I've got this and I've got two other edges that I want to do as a demo today. So this is something I've been wanting, like I say, I've been wanting to do this. So we're going to go with the first one, that, that uh, flapper disc is what I've got on there right now. So I'm going to go with that one first and then we'll, we'll move on to the others. So now the thing about these guys is um, you just you don't want to rush through it. You want to be really careful, especially when you're changing those wheels uh, because it, uh, it's not, not anything that you really want to take a chance on and do wrong. What do I do with my gloves? I normally would be wearing gloves. God damn it. I'll get my gloves before we do our next scene. So this can be done so many different ways. So many different edges. This is just, I've just got a bunch of scrap stuff here. So I'm just going to kind of play with this, and that's what I suggest you do. Here we go. Is that cool or what? Oh, I dig this thing. <laughs> cool. I know. We got to get you. You know what? I've got a mask. I bought a mask mm -hmm. for you, but I forgot to give it to you. Anyway, so you can see here, I was kind of going can with a pattern it thing. So we can... Huh? I can't. Oh, you can't see it from there? So you, you saw I did a lot of different things. Here, I kind of went with a pattern back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And and here, I was just kind of indi indiscriminate. Here, you know, I'm just playing. Um, uh, this thing is, is so... It's so cool. Vic's not used to all this sawdust. So we've got, that is the first of our three. So this is, um, what do they call this? Uh, flap disc. Yeah, that's what I thought, flap disc. I guess it's made for metal. It's aluminum oxide. But you can see it goes through there pretty good. But nothing like the next one will. We'll be right back. No. Oh, you're going to do that. <laughs> Vicky's got a mask on. <laughs> Wow, she's goofy. Check out that bad boy, guys and gals. That is what's called a knotted wire wheel. Uh, I just saw it at Harbor Freight and picked it up. Yes. Now, here's the thing when you're, when you're working with this stuff, guys. You just want to be as safe as you possibly can. That's why now I've got... Uh, bless you. Thank you. That's why I've got my gloves on. I shut the power off to this, not just here, but I shut my my power strip off um, so that when I'm changing that thing because that is just some dangerous stuff right there so anyway actually with this one I'm using a face shield got my glasses on and a face shield just in case because um, you never know those one of those things could come apart on you I, didn't, I thought you were still down on <laughs> anyway um, so let's uh, let's play with this I'm going to hit my power switch down here, assuming this is on. It shouldn't be, but 
Okay, so now it should go on, and we're just going to see how much wood we can chew up here. <laughs> I love this stuff. Uh oh. There it is. <laughs> that is a rustic edge, my friends. Pull it up, let's see. And you know, there's so many different ways. I'm just, I'm still kind of learning how to do it. But if you have a customer that truly wants a rustic edge, I man, lean it this way just a smidge. There that way, that's better. So that is the the wire wheel, the knotted wire wheel. Um. It's a four and a half inch with a, and uh, this has got the five eighths arbor on it. So make sure that when you're buying these things that you look at the arbor and uh, make sure they'll work on the tool that you have. It's kind of standard, the, but this one, you can see this one's a little bit different. This one, see, is threaded. Right, let me shut the power off to that before I put my hands on it. You can see this one actually threads on, whereas the other one, um, is just a just a hole and it, it's got a spacer behind it so you want to check all that stuff out guys this is a 7 8 arbor but this this sander actually comes with the you can do a 5 8 or um, or a 7 8 does it 5 8 yeah 5 8 right yeah 5 8 or 7 8 either one so all right we've got one more and then here comes the big daddy that's the next one so We'll be right back. All right, you guys. Now we are serious. Turn it. Yeah, this is the uh, the chainsaw little wheel. They call it a wood carving disc, and you can see it's made for cut or carve you or got shape. It's glare. Oh. Lift it a little more. More this way. There you go. So it's made for cutting, for uh, carving, and for shaping. Again, I picked it up at Harbor Freight. This one, you really got to be careful, make sure the chain is going the right way, but, you know, just follow all the precautions. Again, I'm going to use gloves. I've got the uh, the power turned off. Actually, I'm not sure it is turned off because I just, just tested it. it. Huh? I think you just turned it I did it. turn it on because I was just testing it, make sure it was all good. But it's, uh, it's all on there, uh, nice and secure. So I've got my face shield on again. So uh, let's see what this thing does. Here we go. <laughs> Man, that thing is cool. I can just play with that all day long. So that is the chainsaw one. So we're talking about three different edges. So Hold it up, baby. you can see that it really would work in uh, for you know for cutting off stumps and all different kinds of things. So if somebody really wants a jagged edge, man, you can't get much more than that. So um, we'll come right back and we'll see what all three of these look like compared side by side. 
All right, guys. Well, that's about it. Um, here are the three examples of what the what the specific wheels do. Uh, we got the the flap and the knotted wire and then the chain. Those are the ones I just did. The chain one, you can see I've got it in clamps because when you take it out of the package, it just kind of falls apart. So uh, I'm probably going to store it like this, put it up on a nail or whatever and store it like this. Because if you take these clamps off, this thing will just actually come apart. So once I got it all, all together, I'd rather just leave it together like that. Anyway, um, but yeah, I had a blast with these. I, I suggest pick them up if you've got one of these things. That ain't the Harbor Freight one. Um, this is really a nice tool. I really like it. I think it was like 65, 60 bucks or something like that. You'd probably get them cheaper than that. But uh, I really like the little DeWalt. Um, just play with it. Have fun. I'm going to keep playing with it and see if I can get some type of maybe, uh, you know, different patterns and different stuff like that. It's, uh, it's a great way to make sawdust. Man, I really had a blast with this. Oh, Vic wanted me to... Uh, this is a sign I made uh, a few weeks ago, and I hadn't put an edge on it yet, and Vicky wanted me to go ahead and uh, put an edge on it, and I used this. I used the wire wheel to put the edge on it, sprayed it black. came out pretty good. I'm kind of happy with it. She's happy with it, so that's all that really counts. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, a couple last-second things. Make sure, guys, if you're using this or the chainsaw, please use a face shield. Just be safe. Um, and then, like with this one, because it was threaded, there's a, um, there's a spacer behind it. So you've got this. If I was using either one of these, this goes on the outside um, and threads on and then tightens up with this little Allen uh, or hex head deal. But um, this one just threads on. So And I, you had to use a wrench to tighten this one on. So you'll see that when you get into it. But um, anyway, guys, I hope this was uh, helpful. It's if you're into rustic edges, man, uh, one of these three will do what you want, or um, I'm going to keep playing with all three of them. That chain one, man, that really chops it up fast. So um, that's about it. Friday, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've got some ideas, but uh, I'll have another demo on Friday, no doubt. So everybody, hope you're having a great week. Um, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Oh, by the way, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We just hit 15,000 uh, subscribers, so that's a huge milestone. Um, I'm not all about subscribers, but uh, it was really neat to see first of the week we hit uh, 15,000. So thank you to everybody that subscribed, everybody that watches. Obviously, people that buy our supplies, we so appreciate it. You premium members, everybody that supports us, thank you, thank you so much. We couldn't keep doing what we do without you guys. So um, you have any questions, as always, get a hold of me. Uh, emails in the description below. Um, gosh, is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Bye.